Hey guys, welcome to TechNability, your source for no-nonsense tech. Haven't done a video in a while, but I've got the LG G3 over here. I've had it for about a week and a half now. I've been wanting to do a review, but to be honest with you guys, I wanted to get a real feel for it before I did, uh, which I think at this point I have gotten. Now you can see right off the bat, the LG G3 is a fairly thin yet big device. It's got a 5 uh, 5.5 inch 2K display. Yes, that's 2K. It has over 530 pixels per inch. The screen is absolutely gorgeous in terms of pixel per inch density. You can see if I, if I go close up, it's very hard to discern pixels on this thing. But I do have one complaint about the screen quality and that is in certain angles, it does tend to get washed out. But otherwise, it's an absolutely gorgeous display. I have no complaints. You can see the blacks are fairly deep, still a little bit washed out in certain angles. The whites are very accurate. Color, um, the color in itself is actually really good on this 2K display. Got to give it up to LG for being the first to release a 2K display phone. So we're definitely excited about what the future holds. Now you can see in terms of the build, it's actually very similar to the G2 in terms of its build, but the back plate does now pop off. So you can pop this back plate off. You got a fairly big battery in there for decent battery life another complaint is the battery life but it's it's really not all that worse than other phones high-end phones out there of course you have a powerful screen so that could be due to partially due to why it's uh, not as good as it could be uh, you got a 13 megapixel rear camera dual LED flash you got the sensors right here and the buttons on the back which again if you're familiar with the G2 then you're familiar with the buttons on the back but you're also familiar with the knock on or knock off feature whatever you want to call it double tap you can unlock the device double tap you can lock it you can see the lock screen you have a variety of different unlock features you can you can do this animation there's a few other ones that you can use you can set up shortcuts down here um, you can see you have access to your notification bar which we'll get into you can also enable widgets and whatnot so just go ahead and unlock and battery is getting low of course um, you can see the notification bar, fairly simple. It's Again, it's on Android 4.4.2 with LG's overlay. Uh, if you guys haven't watched my channel, I have quite a few videos on the LG G2. I was a big fan of the G2, and I'm not saying that I'm disappointed. I really do like the G3. I think it's an absolutely gorgeous device. You can see the front, there's very little bezel. It's a thin device. It kind of has that HTC One type feel where it kind of protrudes out in the center. I just don't think the build quality is as nice as the G2. The G2 almost felt unibody, even though you could pop off the back, uh, which we've done a repair on in our on our channel. You guys can check that out. But with this one, I feel like it's got more of that Samsung-y type build feel. The speakers are really loud, I, I will say that. So in terms of speaker quality, no complaints. Now in comparison to say the HTC One, which has the dual front facing boom sound speakers, of course it doesn't compare. And here I'm having network issues, there we go. Okay, of course an error occurred. Let's go to uploads here. It's a great phone otherwise, guys. 5.5 inch display. I mean, you, I have no complaints in terms of just using this as a daily driver. No doubt about that. And you can see I'm having network issues. You can see the multitasking. We'll get back to that, by the way, guys. You can see the multitasking. You have the option to dual window here. So let's say I take Hangouts, whatever, and I drag it down. I can have Hangouts down here and I can have YouTube up there. So that's a really cool feature. You know, I can text and whatnot. Here's the stock LG keyboard. All right, pretty responsive keyboard. You also got the emojis. Okay, which I guess I can't do in dual screen. You have voice to text. Of course, you also have the ability to change the input method. I use the Android L keyboard from time to time. I do like their uh, voice dictation on the Android L keyboard. Hey, how are you today? What's going on? Do you feel like hanging out? Question mark. Let's go do something, period. Exclamation mark, exclamation mark. What is there to do today? Question mark. Okay, and adding to this voice to voice feature, obviously, which Google's emphasized on, you can see the Google L keyboard, change this color scheme of that as well. Got a ton of emojis as well. Okay, Google, what is six minus six minus three plus nine? There you go. Volume sound. There we go. Who is the Prime Minister of Canada? Stephen Harper is the Prime Minister of Canada. Okay, Google. Okay, Google. Open Play Store. Okay. Okay, Google. Who is the 34th President of the United States? Network issues? Of course, no. 
Dwight D. Eisenhower was the 34th. You can see Google now again. Very it's Android 4.4.2. Quick updates on this thing. This is the T-Mobile model. If you go down to the settings features, you can see here quick circle case. That's if you have that um, the flip cover basically that they sell. You got about phone of course, which you got the about phone features. You can enable developer options through there. Uh, guest mode, cloud features, location security of dual window again, which we just saw split view. Uh, you got all sorts of different settings features, easy to use. You can also have them in tab view. All right, which I personally don't like. I like list view. All right, you got display features, home screen features. Now, one thing I do gotta I gotta say with uh, LG is they've definitely added customizations of say a custom launcher here to their stock build of uh, their overlay. So you got a ton of features here: one-handed operation. You got display options. All right, you can see that they have a variety of different wallpapers as well. Now, one thing that in smart cleaning, which is another feature that they have here. All right, you can see that. So one thing that I do wish that they had uh, allowed us to do with their wallpapers is I wish they allowed us to actually uh, have non, you know, scrolling wallpapers. With their wallpapers, you basically have to scroll from screen to screen. You can always download third-party apps to, to, to take care of that. And you can see the folders. If I drag an icon into another icon very quick to create a folder, I can change the color scheme as well. I like white, okay? Quick phone, definitely. You can see me opening and closing out of apps. All right, very easy, very quick. You see the dialer here, okay, big buttons, the camera. Now this is where it gets interesting. 13 megapixel camera, I know some people were actually a little bit uh, disappointed with that. I'm not too disappointed with this camera, I think it's good. Of course you have burst shot features and whatnot. Um, you can see in mode, you have a variety of different modes here. Panorama mode, dual mode, magic focus, and here if I go to dual, okay. See there's dual mode, come back. All right, now if I go back to settings, you can see a variety of different settings options. So the camera's not bad. Video quality is pretty good. I can record video here. All right, you have 4K recording, which is great. So there's 4K video here. All right, so that's dual mode video capture. So if we go back to mode here and just do uh, auto, okay, I can go to settings and I can change the video quality to 4K. And of course, you have the front-facing camera. You can't really see me there. <laughs> Blocked. Yeah, I'm using an iPhone to record this, guys. My camera's currently in a uh, repair, all right, which we do, but for whatever reason, it's I, I can't repair this specific camera. But you can see the video quality is actually pretty good. And if I go to my picture, I can just kind of, you know, swipe it away and whatnot if I want to delete it. You can see right there, swipe up to delete, swipe down to share, so I could swipe it up. It's gone. Yes. All right, and then going back here, let's go ahead and look at the gallery. So the camera's not too bad. I mean, it's not the greatest camera, but it's definitely not the worst camera. Uh, you can see the gallery here. Very simple to use. Easy, right? Pretty solid editing options. Um, so let's just go to this random picture here and click on the edit option. You can see the variety of different editing options that they have. Fairly easy to use. You got looks, different filters. You got tuning image, uh, so you can just hold on, hold right here, long press the screen, and you can change the contrast and whatnot. Right, so let's X out. You know, tune image, uh, a variety of different features here. Um, vintage drama, black and white, etc. So it's, it's pretty cool. I mean, very similar to whatever, with anything else you're going to get with Android here. And of course, you have the option to rotate it, set it as, share it with a variety of different third-party apps that sync right here into the image. So it's, it's you know, uh, very convenient. And again, you could just clear all from up there. And you also have Q-Slide. Again, if you guys are familiar with the G2, Q-Slide's right there. So let's say I want to open the calendar here on QSlide. There it is. Okay, I can maximize it. I can go back here, go home, go back to QSlide, open the calculator. You can edit QSlide as well and add different things. You can have multiple things open. So this is the true definition of multitasking. Again, guys, going through the specs, you got a quad-core Snapdragon 801 processor here with 3 gigabyte RAM because this is the 32 gigabyte variant. So it does come with 3 gigabytes RAM. So that's really cool. I'm a big fan of the fact that it comes with 3 gigs of RAM because multitasking is absolutely seamless on this thing. All right, it's also got the uh, 32, again, 32 gigabyte with expandable storage. You got a fairly large battery, 3000 milliamp, I believe somewhere around that range, I could be wrong, but battery life could be slightly better. I will say that, I think it could be a little bit better. Now you can see here the quality of video and the sound. Thank you guys for watching Technability and your source for no-nonsense tech. We're revamping the site, gonna add some repair features to the website, so check that out soon. You guys aren't going to want to miss that for all your repair needs. Otherwise, subscribe hey to the guys, channel. Hey guys, welcome to Technability, your source for no-nonsense tech. 
We have an iPhone 5S running iOS 8 Beta 2. Just wanted to go through some of the features. I go here to settings. You can see video quality is pretty solid, not the greatest, not the worst, but it's good on a 5.5 inch 2K display. Uh, you can play 2K videos on this thing and it looks absolutely gorgeous. Of course, this is 1080p video, so it's not going to do it complete justice, but there's absolutely not a um, pixel in sight. Okay, if you guys notice a pixel, please tell me. I don't see it, okay? Um, running Quadrant, I got, you know, okay scores, about 12,000, and Tutu about 35,000. Some people have registered different scores. You can see their stock apps. Of course, you have the quick remote. You could set up the phone as a remote control. You have the music application. Oops, go back here. Music application. You can edit these navigation keys down below as well. So you can see the music application. Go to the lock screen here. There it is. Pause it. Okay, get out of the music app. You see how fast it is. I mean, this thing is blazing fast. All right, show you guys what games look like. Let's look at Temple Run Oz. It's muffled sometimes. The responsiveness is good. Sometimes I find it kind of stuttering to my touch. Like right now, it is kind of stuttering to my touch. Like the HTC One, which is an LCD display as well, but at 1080p, doesn't stutter like this. But the screen on this is definitely gorgeous. And again, multitasking. Just multitask, clear out of all. all right, let's go ahead and look at another game. I don't know, Geometry Dash, because that's the only other game I have on here, guys. Thank you guys for supporting us, by the way. Technability. Your source for no-nonsense tech. Right, let's play an easy level here, right? So I have to look through the camera. Oh, that was a quick death. Level one. Sound is not bad, right? For a rear speaker. And for, all, for, for you guys who think that you have to get used to the rear buttons, you get used to it pretty quickly. Volume button, power button, etc. And so, if you guys are wondering if this plays graphically intensive games, oh, like a champ. Definitely like a champ. I was playing uh, NBA 2K on this and uh, Walking Dead, and it played it like an absolute champ. No doubt about that. And you can see uh, it comes with a file manager. Um, you can see, again, the media, the folders, and whatnot. T-Mobile is going to come with a variety of different bloatware, which, of course, if you guys are fans of technability, you know I'm not a fan of bloatware. You see how contacts look here. All right, similar to just, you know, your Android contacts. Uh, of course, I have different launchers on here as well, which you can install. Um, the weather app, let's go ahead and look at the weather app. Let's go ahead and look at the weather app. You can see weather right here. Oh, thank you, weather. There it is. Of course, then you have the variety of widgets, which doesn't come with many, but it comes with enough, I suppose. You can always download third-party third widgets as well. So you can see the variety of widgets. Now, as an overall device, I have to say, it's a good device. I mean, it has 4K recording. A 2K display, a good camera, pretty solid battery life. It's got a nice build, 5.5 inches. It almost looks like the front is all screen. There's very little bezel. So I think it's a good buy. Uh, now, an upgrade from the G2. I don't know. If you guys have a G2, I think you should be happy and content with your G2. But at the same time, um, if you're like me, you got to have the latest and greatest, then it might be something that you want to look into. Uh, it's a good phone. I'm not denying that it's a good phone. I just don't know if it's necessarily an upgrade or whether you guys should wait for the next generation of 2K display phones to see what the market really has to offer, especially given the Note 4 and the iPhone are on the horizon. Otherwise, I do think it's a, it's a good enough phone for anybody who's in the market looking to spend money to buy, to buy a phone. You know, I mean, it, it, it really does have all the perks and features that you would want in a device. You can see their, uh, their um, kind of like their own personal Siri. There it is. Okay. Yep. I understand. I understand. I haven't even touched this. To, you know. Okay. Well, I don't really use VoiceMate, but there you go. All right, you have Google now as well, which you can, of course, as I said, say, OK, Google, and it'll launch it. Which it didn't right now, but there you guys go. LG G3, uh, this is for T-Mobile. Uh, this is the T-Mobile variant. They have this for a variety of U.S. and international carriers. You can purchase this on contract or off contract. Uh, it's a very nice device. I think it's got its pluses, very little minuses. Um, again, just I'm not going to sit there and complain about the fact that the screen is somewhat washed out because it's so... You know, it's so gorgeous to the to the naked eye because of the fact that there's rarely, if any, pixels. So um, it's really a nice phone. I think it's 
uh, one that you should definitely look into, even if you're uh, someone who's waiting for the iPhone or waiting for the Note 4 or the Nexus, look into the LG G3. It's definitely a gorgeous, gorgeous handset. Um, there you guys go, LG G3, reviewed by Technability. Uh, keep watching, guys. Subscribe to the channel as we compare this to various different devices, such as the Note 3, the iPhone 5S, the uh, S5, etc., HTC One. So check out those videos coming very soon. Otherwise, thank you guys for watching Technability. Your source for no-nonsense tech. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Also, don't forget to check us out at technability.com. Support us by liking us on Facebook, guys, and uh, following us on Twitter at Technability. Thank you guys for watching. Have yourself a nice day.